Hey everyone, we are the Random DIY Artists, and today we'll be making personalized lotion bottles or like some sort of bottle or like container that you want to be personalized. Because like sometimes they put like these like wrapper thingies on top and they don't look that nice and like or maybe like they're they've gotten like dirty and stuff and you just want to like 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 decorate it your own way. So you will need something you want to personalize. I'm going to be personalizing this mint dental flosser and you will also need sharpies and if you don't have sharpies paint also works but it just takes longer to dry and markers they don't really work that well because they wash off like they rub off easier like more easily than sharpies do and like unless you're using it for something that like you don't really touch that much because like it just rubs off like if you have sweat or something and like I don't I don't recommend using like like personalizing like shampoo bottles and stuff like that because like it gets wet really easily and it just washes off and it leaves smudges on your bottle and you know they're not that easy to wash off and personalize again so let's get started on a clean or like a clear surface you will take your container or your bottle and empty out the things inside and I recommend like just putting it aside like uh, somewhere so it doesn't get in your workspace unless you have a big workspace and if you're like doing lotion or something like of course do not empty out the whole bottle it's just like it like what I'm doing like flossers like they they're kind of noisy so it kind of gets annoying sometimes and they well, well, this bottle isn't that good I mean this container doesn't close like that well so it falls out and it just messes up whatever you're doing especially for painting okay so next you will rip out the little sticker it has on now if it doesn't have a sticker then you can't do it otherwise you can take a pair of scissors and just like like uh, say these were the scissors you just like open up the scissors so it's like that like they're like that right so then you just like carve it off and but like don't do it too hard because it just like leaves marks and they aren't pretty especially if you want it to look very good okay so i'm just gonna rip this off and i'll be right back so mine didn't work that well but like if yours doesn't work that well like mine you can take some uh, alcohol or like hand sanitizer, put it on like a piece of cotton or like toilet paper or like I don't know, tissue, and just rub it on and it should come out very easily. Otherwise, if you don't have those right now with you, then you can just take the time to use your nails or use a pair of scissors and just rip it up piece by piece. Something else easy you can do is to take some soap and do it, but I don't recommend using soap if it's like like a tissue box. Like I don't know, but well, like if it's easy to like get wet and like it just breaks when it gets wet, then like definitely do not use soap and water. And if you are gonna use soap and water, take a piece of like a tissue or like a cloth maybe, add some soap onto it, and just start rubbing it on. After that you're gonna have like soap all, like after you're finished, you're gonna have like soap all over your container, and you will wash, you can wet your uh, towel or something and just wipe it off, I'm trying to like not leave any soap spaces like soap pieces and if it's really hard to get off like I'm trying to do right now and you don't have any soap then you can always use water and or you could just like use a wet cloth because 
those work very well too. You just have to kind of like scrub really hard and don't scrub too hard because in case your container breaks then that wouldn't be good. So I am finally done and I used the water tool trick and it actually helped it got it off but unfortunately it like there's still like sticky stuff on it. I don't know if you can see. Okay, so if you did use water, you're going to have to dry it out, and so I'm just going to quickly dry it out. If it's wet on the inside, you don't really have to dry it out, but I would recommend doing it because, well, like, that means you don't have to do it afterwards, and, like, you might as well do it right now. Okay, so let's get back to the, the decorating. The next step is really simple. You just choose whatever colors you want to use. And if you want it to be perfect, then you're going to want, like, a lot of space to put your hands in. So, I just want to do, I'm just going to go for a dark blue and a gold. I'm just going to put these away, and I'm going to have my two Sharpies there, and I have lots of room to do it. Okay, so next, you're going to, like, like, um, decide what you want on your little container thing. So, for the, like, other two ones I did, I wrote down whatever they actually were. So, this one, I think I'm just going to write, like, floss. Or, like, flosser. So, I'm going to make myself, like, comfortable. Because, like, if you want it to be perfect, then you don't want to make any mistakes. So first you will take, well, this isn't, this is optional. You can take a pencil and write down whatever you want. But I'm just going to take my Sharpie right now and write Flosser. And I have, like, sticky stuff on my container, so it's, like, not, like, the colors aren't that bright. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, because it's not that good. So I'm going to, like, color it in. This is optional. You can decorate this however you want. I'm just going to color that one E in. Just for fun, I guess. Okay. No, no. Actually, I'm just gonna color the rest in. I'll do it afterwards on off camera. Okay, it's not that good right now, but I will fix it up. Cause I just like to like do a scratch and like afterwards fix it up. So I'm gonna line it up with my gold sharpie and just outline it. Well, it's not showing. Okay, since it's not showing, I'm just going to, like, do it afterwards. But here, let me show you what I will be doing on this one. Okay. So. Oh, great, this is ruining my gold shabby. Okay, oh, I'm sorry about that. Okay, I'm just going to line it up with silver. So you just very simply just draw on it. And you might want your container to be like clean before you like actually like start doing it because like I don't you're not gonna get a chance to wash it afterwards. Cause this will the Sharpie will come off if it comes in like a lot of contact with water. A little bit might actually make it smudge so I do kind of recommend paint, but it's easier to do it with Sharpie. Okay, so I'm just going to finish doing this. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and share this video to your friends. And thanks for watching. And just a fun link that you can click. And, or, well, you can't click, but I might put it in the description. And this is www.fantagefairy.blog.wordpress.com. 
it is a link to this blog. It's really awesome. My friend does it, and you should really check it out, because even if you don't play Fantage, it still has, like, awesome stuff. You can see it's, you know, it has, like, funny stuff. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Visit the link, www.fantagefairy.blog.wordpress.com. Mm. And thanks for watching. And leave.